In the latest scenes of Hong Kong's unrest, protesters and police have been battling at universities. We want to save the kids, the students in polytechnics. <laughs> they are young kids. But uh, the government is very violent. That's all. Save the kids is my purpose. Our university is under attack and the tear gas are ev everywhere. Hong Kong Polytechnic University was turned into a heavily fortified camp last week when demonstrators, including high school and college students, barricaded themselves in, making bombs and shields amid battles with police. We would like to say no to the police and then uh, say no to the police that they cannot enter this university, uh, any of the university, which the university is a private area according to the Hong Kong, according to the basic law. So they cannot um, just get into here directly and then arrest us. But police say over a thousand people have already been arrested and charged with things like possessing an offensive weapon and rioting. Authorities ordered protesters to surrender and hundreds did, many of them sick or injured. Protesters who tried to avoid police while fleeing the campus have been met with rubber bullets, water cannons and tear gas. Someone called the protester to leave because the, uh, the tear gas of the police uh, nowadays are, are using to the protester uh, from made, made in China, and then which, which is very toxic. The environment is being, becoming bad and we can uh, study here because uh, of the, the tear gas. The materials in the tear gas will make us, uh, it, will make, it, it will cause the health problem. So we need to protect our university. Hong Kong's chief executive Carrie Lam has urged protesters to leave the campus peacefully, but warned that police will take necessary action if they refuse. She said she is shocked campuses have turned into weapon factories. They are not equal because the students use their violence for protecting themselves. Otherwise, the police used to gun to shoot them. It, it, it is totally different level. Someone said that maybe exchange the exchange the weapons, okay? Exchange them, they will know that it is not not the same level. Still, some protesters wanted to stay. Um, I'm afraid our front line is not strong enough to um, defend the police force um, because I'm still afraid about the um, police will come in to shoot tear gas. Um, so I think it will be a serious problem for our students' uh, safety. I just know that uh, the police are going to attack here and then I just come back. And many of them just like me and then they come back, which, which we want to protect the university. Protests began in June over a proposed extradition bill which has since been formally withdrawn, but the people of Hong Kong are not satisfied. Polytechnic University is near to the tunnel, which, uh, which is the, one of the major tunnels uh, uh, from Hong Kong to from Hong Kong Island to to Kowloon, and then it is very important for the city. So, uh, we the protester would like to um, stop the society from working, to to force the government accept our five demands, which um, we think that five demands and then not one less. Protesters are also demanding other democratic rights and urging Hong Kong's government to resist control by mainland China. I, I think uh, we can overcome all this division and then we are facing a very strong power which is the communist government of China and then um, everyone's afraid, um, uh, I'm, I'm afraid too, but um, we're, just, we're just like for the good of Hong Kong.